Hello everyone. I uh, hope this message finds you well. My name is Francesco and you found this video either because it has been posted for you on Brightspace or because this link, the link to this video, was emailed to you by likely me. As I mentioned, my name is Francesco and if you start a third year of the Civil Engineering Technology Program next term, you will be registered for the project course, among other courses. And I will be your professor for the course, the project course. With this video, I would like to pass on some information about the project course, the expectations for the course, and how you can get started early for it, and earn a bonus 10% uh, towards your grade in the course. I will provide details in a moment, but first, I want you to know that if you choose to do nothing and ignore this message, that is fine. You don't have to do anything. But if you want to do something and get started early, I also want to help with that. So let me start by telling you first how the course will shape up over the first few weeks. First week back. It is possible that there may be a class for us or not. I guess it depends on when AC Day 1 takes place, okay? If our class gets cancelled because of AC Day 1, that doesn't matter. Pardon me for that. That doesn't matter if our class gets cancelled. Uh, you'll be assumed to have received the information because I'll post it for you, okay? I'll provide you with your work and what's expected of you that week. But regardless, this is what's gonna happen. During our first week, I will give you the grade breakdown for the course, the schedule, the week by week expectations. I will inform you how to set up your groups and what to expect of that. And I'll mention to you that you need a topic for your project that must be approved by me. Second week of class, okay? So our second class together you must have a group, okay? If you don't, because the project course will be a group effort. If you don't, I will place you in a group, no exceptions. I will actually start having weekly meetings with those groups that have already self-identified with me and that I have approved. So that is, I need to approve your group before weekly meetings happen. If you're not in a group, you cannot meet with me until the week after that, week three. Third week of classes, our third class. By our third week, I have approved your topic and your weekly meetings are in full force. If you have no topic or I haven't approved your group, which must be four individuals, you're in a bit of trouble because you cannot have weekly meetings with me unless I approve your topic. By the way, if I mentioned that weekly meetings count towards 35% of your grade, so missing one or more is a big impact. And so on and so forth with future weeks. I'm not telling you this to terrify you. Rather, I'm telling you this so that you're aware of the fast pace of this course. It is a kind of course you must do every week, starting with your weekly meetings with me. Okay? And you cannot have weekly meetings with me unless I have approved your topic and I have approved your team and your team members. So this is where this message comes in. I'm reaching out to you early, right? The idea is that if you want, I'm willing to help you get started early with the project course. So that if you want, you can start from day one already having a topic and your group members approved by me. And if this happens before the start of the term, right, you will receive a bonus 10% in the course. That's ENG 4001 only if you pass it successfully. Repeat, if you pass ENG 4001 successfully and you have your team approved by me before the start of the term, your topic approved by me before the start of the term and each member on your team approved by me before the start of the term and, 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 you're eligible for a bonus 10% if you pass the course. Interested? So here are some of the details. First, your project course is a group effort. 
you must be in a team of four members, not three, not five, no other number, four. If you choose to have a team with more or less than four, I will redistribute your team so that you have four members and I get the complete and final say about that. Second, I will try to expose you to what a professional civil engineering environment is like, which means that I will expect and also model myself professional behavior. That also means that I will treat you like professionals and not as students as much as possible. What I mean by professionals is this. I identify a professional, someone who has enough skill to request payment for their services. That's what a professional is. It's he or she or they whom are paid for their time. Okay. I will not treat you like students, and this entails many things, but some ex examples of this mean that I will allow you to take responsibilities for your own actions and the results of those actions. I'll allow you to choose your own topic with my assistance, okay? I'll help you approve your topic. I'll allow you to deal with member conflicts within your teams. I'll allow you to provide feedback on your peers' performance, and most importantly, I will not allow you to be a spectator. You can choose to be one, but it will be reflected in your performance. Third, there is only one instance where I will still allow you to still be a student in this course. You are allowed to pick your team members if you want to. If you don't want to, that is okay, and I will assign you to a team at my complete discretion before the second week of classes. My one recommendation, if you choose to form a team with people you know, don't simply pick your team members from a group of buddies just because you like them. You should form a team with your buddies only if you've worked with them in the past and by that, I mean both on an academic and a professional setting, or one of the two, and you can trust them to pull their weight and not let you down. Again, this is a group effort, okay? Your topic, what topics can you pick? Easy, anything, yeah, anything. As long as it's related to civil engineering, it is a valid topic to propose to me. I'm here to help you select or decline a topic. Don't bring me or don't not bring me a topic just because you think I'm going to say no. Let me say no. Propose. Really? Any topic is okay? Yeah, for real. In our business, we love a challenge with no known solution. And that's because that is exactly the reason why companies and people will pay you, us, money for our time to help them solve a problem that they have and they can't solve. So any topic works. It just needs to be approved by me. So for some guidelines, consider one of the following. Maybe you can think about a topic related somehow to civil engineering that you have covered so far, say in your first two years of the construction engineering technician program, but you wish had been covered in more depth. Okay. Or uh, you can think of a topic that you wish had been covered in one of your courses, but was not. Or you can think about something that really interests you and is somehow related to civil engineering. That could be a good idea too. That's it. No more guidelines. This, I want you to recognize, is a very rare opportunity that's going to be offered to you where you will be allowed to learn something about a topic that you may be interested in. You will rarely get a learning opportunity like this one in your lifetime. Okay? 
probably until you retire. And by that, I mean that you get to pick what you learn about in your professional setting with my approval. Okay, for real. So here are some common Q&A about this. Can you propose a topic that's been done in the past? Sure, as long as you don't simply copy the work of a previous team, because that's plagiarism and academic misconduct, and I accept none of that. Do you have to do a topic on the properties of concrete? No, not at all. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. Okay? You can choose to do whatever you're interested in with my approval. Can I tell you about previous topics done by students in the past? Nah, <laughs> good question. And that is the student in you talking, not the professional. So the answer is mm, no. And the reason is that as soon as I provide you with ideas from past projects, then you immediately, because you've been trained as a student to do this, right? To be fed information, you focus your vision just on what I've told you. And then you end up then proposing me and only considering mediocre copies of these ideas. Now, I'm gonna give you five possible ideas from topics that were so <laughs> rocking awesome that uh, you really can't copy them unless you're interested in them. And even then we're gonna have some difficulties with that, okay? Because they're really out of the box and awesome. There are gonna be four videos that I'll link for you uh, in the bottom and at the top, and one um, news article from the Algonquin College Times. So, first video. Should have scrolled along the top as a card. And if I can make it work, hopefully it works. Second video. And hopefully this works too. It's a second link to another project done in the past. Third video. Okay, which is also uh, a really cool project. Fourth video, which is linked to the third video. And the fifth topic is linked for you also as an Algonquin Times article at the bottom in the description to this video. Okay. Can you research a topic? Yes, absolutely. But not likely in the way that you mean it. I will not allow you to simply create a report on a topic that summarizes the top 10 search results on Google about a topic. That is your introduction to your report. Instead, you're expected to use the skills that you've learned so far and developed so far in your first two years of the program to learn more about something or even, I don't know, solve a problem, a consulting type problem. So what now? My favorite question. This is where I come in. If you want to start discussing your ideas, your topics right now, I'm available to you. You can reach out to me to start brainstorming ideas. I can start providing you with feedback and recommendations. So here's what you do. If you want to have a team of four, let me know who's in your team. Do so by reaching out by email to me and put the words project course in your email to me, please. Now, you're going to get probably a reply, an automated reply from me if this is the summer term that basically says, I'm on holidays, don't bug me. If the words project course, now and more in your email, but at least the words project course need to be in there, then I'll pluck that email and make sure I reply to it. If you want to discuss possible topics, let me know by email that you want to do a Zoom meeting with me and your availabilities. If you just email me that you're available for a meeting and you don't provide me with your availabilities, you don't want to meet with me. So make sure you give me your availabilities. Not every member in your proposed team needs to be available for this. As long as the person that I meet with has the ability to speak for everybody on the team. Okay. The more availabilities you provide to me, the easier it is for me to find a day and a time that is also available on my calendar. And again, excuse me, if this is the spring or summer term right now, I'm available 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday with notice. I can be a bit flexible, okay? 
but you need to ask. If this is the autumn or the winter term, I'm typically on campus in some form, either in person or remotely, and I'm typically available Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. with notice, and I can be a little bit flexible, okay? The more options you provide to me, the easier it is for me to pick a day and a time that is also free on my schedule. And then I'll send you a Zoom link for us to meet or invite you to a room on campus if COVID is gone. Figuring out your topic will take at least two meetings, typically three. You'll be allowed to use the construction lab on campus because we're going to figure out a way to get you in there, okay? safely and healthily, okay? You'll be able to use a construction lab. Any resource the college has to offer to you, you'll be available to use it, okay? That's where I come in. That's why I come in for this. So that includes equipment, material. If it's available in the construction lab, you have access to it. Anything else, you're expected to bring it, but we can discuss this, okay? So, but yeah, three meetings typically is required to figure out your topic, okay? Now, here's the thing. If we figure out your topic and your four team members and I approve your topic and I approve your four team members and your topic before the start of the next term, when you start third year, you're automatically eligible for a bonus 10% in project course, project one, that's ENG 4001. That's the only course. ENG 4001 bonus 10% if you pass the course. Oh, and uh, if you want details on who else is in this course, is projected to be in this course, I have a list. So send me an email, ask for the link to this list so you can see who else is in there because I'll have their email addresses attached too. And that way, if you want, you can reach out to them, maybe offer, hey, do you want to form a team or do you want to discuss possible topics? Okay. Now, Simply because you're viewing this video does not mean that you're in third year. You may be, but I don't know that. It is up to you to fulfill all the requirements that make you eligible for third year and make arrangements for tuition payment with the college. I am not involved in any of that. I'm simply speaking to you and reaching out to you and making myself available to you to help you get started early with projects so you can rock the heck out of it. So what are you waiting for? Let me give you one last piece of information. Based on my data, because I track all of my courses to always make them better. Those teams that have their topic approved by me and their team members, their four team members are approved by me before the start of the term, so that's level five, finish their project an average of six weeks ahead of those team that wait six weeks that you can devote to something else. Does that mean you can end your project early? Heck yeah. I'm going to treat you like adults and professional. Pardon me. I'm going to treat you like professionals, which means that if you finish your project early, I'm not going to waste your time having you do school stuff if your project is done early. Okay. For real. But we'll figure this out over the, what is it? The 30 weeks of project. Okay. Anyways. What are you waiting for? If you're interested, send me an email, okay? And you know how to get it because I've either emailed you this video or it was posted for you on Brightspace and you have access to my email. So don't delay, okay? I look forward to hearing from you and I know you're gonna rock the heck out of this. Thank you for your time and take care.